Right, so hi everybody. So today uh, we're interviewing uh, Leicester City women's player Holly Morgan uh, about being a female role model. So thanks for joining us, Holly. Um, first question I'd like to ask really is, uh, can you sort of talk us through your career and uh, how you've come to play for Leicester City Football Club? Wow, it seems like um, a long time ago now. Um, so I started just playing at school um and then i recall we had um somebody that came down to one of our training sessions i think i was about uh 10 or 11 at the time um and then i was invited to play for so at the time it was like um it wasn't an rtc but it was like a development center so it was it was the not at the stage of an rtc but the kind of uh, lead into it um so that's how i kind of got involved in terms of that side of things and then the year later i went to trial for the rtc uh being the under 12s um and i got in uh on a six-week trial and then ever since then i've been playing for leicester so from under 12s through to under 16s I played for the RTC at Leicester and then um, I played for the reserves and then I broke my way into the first team. See, the team are doing really ex extremely well at the moment, aren't they? Um, so uh, I was just wondering, sort of, what's your biggest achievement uh, to date since, since sort of playing? Yeah, I can kind of maybe pinpoint small things in my time, i.e. Um, I can't remember the year, but it was a season when we, for the first time, beat Blackburn. Uh, this was when we were in the, um, oh, what league would it have been? Uh, the National Prem. And we we could never beat Blackburn. They were just always the team uh, that were always running away with it. But I think we beat them 3-2. And it's just small moments in like my career where, I've, where I think of where I've come and where I am now and how on the journey there's been so many kind of games or moments that I can think like, wow, like here I am now. Um, so I remember that game. I think it was my uh, 100th appearance as well. So it was more okay. memorable for me as well, beating them 3-2 and having played 100 games. Um, but I think my main one would probably be this, uh, the 2015 and 16 season when we went unbeaten. We won 22 out of 22 games and we won the league. And that was the same season that Leicester City also won the Premier League as well. So that was uh, a memorable summer because both teams were just celebrating, you know, really big wins. That is some achievement, isn't it? And really yeah. difficult to do. So, yeah, I can see why that's your sort of main achievement. So, like, um, have you ever, ever come across sort of any barriers uh, during your career that you've really had to overcome? I did face barriers in terms of... Um, being not being the majority so having people around me that didn't look like me uh was quite hard because it's it was it was an environment where you know football it's very competitive and uh it can be it can be quite a hard environment to be in at times and i think when you don't have people around you that sometimes you can relate to or you know who look like you um that can be tough in itself and i think I'm proud of myself in terms of not conforming to certain behaviours or conforming to maybe the way certain attitudes were. I kind of just stuck to my own morals and values. Um, but I think that was the hardest thing for me, not being in an environment where I had people that I could look up to or look and kind of understand me. Um, but overall, I think in facing those barriers, when I look at it now, I think to myself, Mentally, I was quite tough to get through it because on a number of occasions, you know, I, I did have discussions with my dad where I did want to quit. I didn't want to continue. For me now, I think I'm in a position to help others to not have to overcome those same barriers. I would like to think that I've experienced it. I've seen it. I've been in it. And when I see it now myself, I definitely try to help those in a position to overcome it better than maybe what I did. In order to sort of get to where you you have got, um, have you sort of had a role model or somebody that you looked up to uh, sort of as you was going through your playing career? Um, I think in all honesty, like I've been, I'm fortunate to be in a family where, you know, I've got my mum, dad and my older brother and sister. So I'm the youngest sibling. So I've always had people to look up to. Um, and we're a very close-knit family, so I've, I've always had them to look up to in terms of 
their values, their morals, the way that they conduct themselves and also how aspirational they all are. So for me, when I when I was playing and when I was kind of going through hard moments, I always had them to talk to. I always had them to kind of share their experience with me. And I think my mum and dad have been great for that because they've also had experiences and the same barriers that I I myself was facing. So to be able to talk to my parents about um, certain things most definitely helped me. And I think that's why, you know, they are my role models. Oh, brilliant. You highlight, highlighted some really important characteristics there. What makes sort of, uh, what impact do, do you think female role models have on sort of young girls growing up? Oh, a massive impact. And I think um, in being a female role model for all girls, it's it's so important for girls to see um, people of different races um, so that they can also relate to people. I think for me, I probably struggled with that, not having, you know, other black females that I kind of had um, good support from in that sense or being able to see like... Um, black female role, female role models in the game for me um, closely. Um, but I think for any young girl playing football, to be able to have somebody that they look up to in terms of um, looking up to their work, work ethic, their attitude, their behaviours, just their overall love for the game, but also respect for the game as well, because the women's game it is growing. I think having that connection is vital in... Um, helping girls to see themselves in the future be playing football uh you need to see people like you doing it for sometimes you to feel like you can do it yourself 